out here on this beautiful day visiting the home of Edgar Allan Poe. And up here in Baltimore. And he lived in this house about three years. Lived here with his grandmother, a couple of his cousins, uh, his aunt. And uh, yeah, wrote a few of his stories in this house. So gonna go in and check it out. was a duplex uh, Edgar and the Clems lived on this side of the house So the family tree and uh yeah like i was saying he lived in this house with his aunt uh, who was widowed uh, she was taking care of their uh, sickly grandmother and then he also lived with two of his cousins uh, one of which virginia clem uh, who later would become his wife quotes uh, of some uh, famous writers uh, who were inspired by Edgar, uh, Stephen King. Jules Verne, Alfred Hitchcock. Hmm. All right, so this would be the master bedroom. And I know a little bit about Edgar uh, from visiting his house down in Richmond. And I can tell you he was born up in Boston. I uh, lived there for a couple years before moving to Richmond. And <clears throat> had a pretty ch uh, troubled childhood. Uh, his mother died when he was two. His father, they think, uh, may have already left the family. Uh, and he died young as well. So he was then adopted by a guy named John Allen. And a uh, yeah, pretty well-to-do guy. At one time, he was the third richest person in Virginia. And uh, he was pretty supportive, although he did argue a lot with Edgar. Uh, a lot of failures in, in, in his life. He, uh, he attended UVA, but uh, dropped out. Supposedly he made really good grades, but uh, he incurred a lot of debt. He had a gambling problem there, apparently. And uh, yeah, his father didn't want to, uh, to bail him out. So after that, he joined the army and then uh, later went to West Point. I dropped out of there. I don't think uh, military life was really for him. So after that, that's when he decided uh, to start his career as a writer. And let's see, he went on to marry his cousin, Virginia Clem, 13 years old. And uh, she died young as well. She died 11 years later. Yeah, just a couple years after that, uh, Edgar passed away. And uh, had a pretty mysterious death. Uh, he died up here in Baltimore. And uh, he died, uh, he was found passed out outside of a bar with, uh, with uh, bruises on his head. Uh, that, that's how he ended up dying. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a mystery to this day. So yeah, a lot of tragedy in his life. Okay, that was it. Pretty quick tour. <laughs> I think the guy didn't like that I was uh, filming. <laughs> she came up and told me there was a uh, time limit. She, uh, she saw me on camera walking around. Anyway, all good. Uh, the weather's cleared up a little bit. I'm going to try to walk down to his grave site. Okay, I think I found it. Well, can't go inside. Okay, Westminster Burial Grounds, uh, 25 soldiers, the War of 1812 buried here. Uh, David Poe Sr., Edgar's grandfather buried here.
and this would be the tombstone. Looks like somebody left him some candy. Oh. All right, Maria Clem, his aunt, uh, buried him in here as well. And I'm pretty sure on the other side is going to be Virginia Clem, his wife. So. Yeah, locked over here as well. Looks like those gates were completed in 1815. Oh, nasty. Anyway, so yeah, pretty impressive church. And uh, getting out of here, waiting on my Uber, I'm headed to the Carrollton house, uh, home of John Carroll of Carrollton. So, get out of here. <laughs>